is that you have introduced me. I hope my voice is clear to everyone. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sure. Thank you very much. So again, I am here to have the program on Super Searcher presented by Google itself. So before starting, I'll uh, welcome Sonia Mehra Agarwal, ma'am. Uh, she is community manager from Google for Education, and she has, she has joined us for this purpose. So what is Super Searcher? We are going to talk about what is Super Searcher, how to have effective searches, how to elaborate the content for our teachers, for a student's perspective. Perspective. So here I'm sharing my screen right now. And mind it, this session will be a bit more interactive. I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Anybody can put out? Yeah, Ms. Devan or Alokji, can you yes, uh, just... Uh, yes, ma'am, right. it's visible. Can you make it slideshow so it will be a little larger for the participants? Okay, it is there, the slideshow only, just a second. Okay, so this is slideshow. Thank you, ma'am. Right. So, what do you understand by super searches? Anyone? Uh, I'm not able to see the comments. Uh, so, Ms. Devan and Alokji has to help me out. When, I, when you people heard about that today you have to go through the session super searches, what first came into your mind? Kindly write it down in the comment box. If anybody wishes to speak, unmute and speak. What what came into your mind? That super searches means what? Anyone? Okay. If if any one of you can read the comment, Alokji and Ms. Devan. Uh, yes, ma'am. They say the tools that help us uh, reach everyone. One who search very frequently. New search okay. engines, browsers. Who can search randomly? Search with AI. Searching with appropriate keywords. Super searchers is a term used to uh, describe uh, tools. AI-based search tool, Creative Commons, specific browser, computer savvy, etc. Great. So means everybody, most of you have the knowledge what is meant by super searcher. So let's start with a little bit of activity. So what we are going to do, though, Every one of us in whole world, even our kids, small kid also knows how to search any content on any platform. So today, let's start to become a super searcher. Searchers, everyone, we all are searchers. So today we'll be converted into super searchers. Let's start with it. Okay. So there is a task for every one of you. So very quickly, everyone, if anybody is diverted here and there, just come back and look here. We have one short quiz for you people. So we are going to check ourselves, how confident we are using any search engine and evaluating the information that we receive. Let's see. Just give me a moment. I'll just switch off my video because there is some network issue here. Sorry for that. Okay. So, ready everyone? Let's start with it. Now there is a question and an image in front of you. The image says packet of Lay's Jalebi flavor. And the question is, is this a real product sold in India? Very quickly, just everyone, yes or no? Everyone. I hope everyone is indulged into searching Lay's Jalebi flavor. Just write down the comment, yes or no? And most of them are saying no. Okay, great. No. Yes. Most of them are saying no. Anybody else? You people are saying, okay. So most of you people might be saying no. Any other answer than uh, except no? 
anything no, else anybody is right so it's oh. just yes or no okay yes or no right so now comes up the next one this is my question number 1 let me go by question number 2 Now there is again one picture, and on the picture it is written "ship grounded at Mumbai Beach." Is this picture more or less as described? Yes or no? Picture is there in front of you. Prompt is there in front of you. Ship grounded at Mumbai Beach. Is this picture more or less as described? Yes or no? And most of them are saying yes. Okay. Most of them are saying yes. Yes. Anybody else saying anything else? Then so just yes. Just one or two have said no. Others all are saying yes. Okay. So still, I'm giving half a minute more. All those who um, might be diverted here and there, come back and just search for this image. If you have prior knowledge, then it's okay. Otherwise, search the image. now let me just find out how you people are searching the image it is there on your screen so you might be using some tool to access this image as well okay so we had two questions in front of us one is this lays chalevi and everyone wrote no it's not there then second one was ship grounded at mumbai beach yes or no so many people said yes some people said no so means we are searchers till yet we are only the searchers let us find out how we can become more over the super searcher so let us have how to have searches online hum how we do it so everybody would be knowing serp that is search engine result page so we'll have demo as well you have to do along with me it's hands on practice so that if you people are having any queries we can sort it out here only so search engine result page what do you understand by search engine result page serp write it down in the comment box serp what what do you understand by this uh, search engine result page write it down in the comment box what it is yes any comment uh, ma'am they're saying one person has written no idea okay that they're still typing okay great so it is highly commendable that that person has said no idea Accepting search, very good. Search Great. unknown information. Search engine results. Google like that shows the search results. The end product after search. After okay. search, what comes? Search page. Create common page that appears after a user searches for something on a search engine. Uh, the result. Great. Search page, etc. So, so many people know about it. Some people don't know. there is mix and mixture of everything let's let's find it out what it is so let me just take you through my this window i've already done it you people might have typed lays jalebi and it has been searched you just have the much more efficient for the time cost i've just done already and my my tabs are already open we wrote lays jalebi so there were some of the content here and there something something what we did either we had prior knowledge or whatever is written here pakistan 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 we said no without digging into the deeper side so nowadays this is the era for ais nowadays we have to be little bit more specific about search engine result page the content may be ai generated the content may divert you here and there so we have to rely on some or the other website related to that so if you see my screen if you see my screen there are many many images then we have some more things then websites lots more stuff we come across sometimes videos also pops up so this and this is mix and mixture of everything so this is ndtv food i can rely on it this is a brand name i can rely on it 
if I click on these three dots. Now tell me how many of you have explored three dots? When we are doing any effective searches, now we are in the education sector, on and off we have to search some content for our students, be it lesson planning, be it study material, be it anything, whatever it is. So, three dots. How many of you have explored three dots? Yes. Give either thumbs up or something like that. Uh, some of them have written yes. And some are writing not explored. Some is, uh, one person is writing I have explored. Yes, okay, no. Great. Yes, great. right click used mostly. Always three dots. Okay. So let, let me take you. If I click on three dots. So you can see this small pop-up window is opened up. Detail. You can check out as and when required. You can share this content. You can save. If you want to read more about this, you can have this. Right? So always when we are searching any content for our students, go and click on three dots and search the reliable source. What is the reliable source related? Now, if I scroll down a little bit, it says Lay's Pakistan introduced Jalebi flavored chips. So what we assume that uh, Jalebi flavor chips is already there in Pakistan. We have not explored whether it is there or not. Let us just go on it. It was the best prank ever. So see what we did, we just wrote Lay's Jalebi. Without searching the content, we wrote no. Nobody digged into the deeper side of it and search why no if if any packet of lays you are seeing on your screen you should have searched about it so this is what we say about super searchers so now we are walking on the path of super searchers right so this was pranked by pakistan see why we are why google has given us this program super searcher because Ultimately, we are working for nation's benefit. Ultimately, we are growing our uh, students way ahead from us. us. Right now, our students are very, very way ahead from us. They can explore anything on the digital platform. We have to train them how to access the content. So let us proceed with the other one. Right. Any question, any query to anyone? Any question, any query to any, anyone? Okay. So now, just observe this. I've already written. See, what was the question? Is Lay's Jalebi real or fake in, in India? So we have written the prompt Lay's Jalebi real or fake. Earlier, what we wrote, Lay's Jalebi. Now we have written Lay's Jalebi real or fake. So if, what is the searches? You can see this is AI overview. So as I've already told, this is AI world now. Everybody is going for AI here and there. So this is AI overview. Now how this AI works, whatever content is there on any website, anywhere they have just collected. So they have created the snippets related to it. This is snippet. You can take the content from here as well. The very first line says the Lay's Jalebi flavor was a prank, not a real product. And right hand side also you can see it is written Pakistan did so and so and so. So when we are doing searches, it should be very, very effective. So you have to write down what you are searching for very, very promptly, very, 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 very correctly. So now if I come on my ship bar, you people have searched for ship right now. Somebody said no, somebody, most of you said yes and anything. I only wrote ship stranded at the beach. You see so many images you can see. Abhi, what will happen? I, I have clicked these images. You can see there are many, many tabs given to us. We'll talk about this tab later on. I have searched for images. You can see so many images are there. 
Now again, I have to refine my search. I have to consume most, most of the time and then reach whatever I'm seeking for. So before that only, what you will, what you were supposed to do it, as we were talking about ships stranded at Beach India, that was 9,000 tons. So because there was some news related, I have to give some context to my student related to this, or I have to search for my own purposes. The written content should be correct, whatever you are searching for. Now you see that particular ship is popular. All those images are popular. So this is what is super searcher. Now my request is for every one of you, do these two tasks right now. Number one, lace jalebi, real or fake. Just type it down on your computer systems, whatever system you people are having. Just write it down and see what is the difference between the previous result and right now the result. Similarly, the second task is for your dish ship wala part. 9,000 tons, ship stranded at the beach. In so just try to refine your searches. Search engine will show the result page, whatever you are seeking for, you are writing. I was seeking for ship stranded 9,000 tons, but I wrote only ship stranded at the beach. So it, it was my duty to write down correctly what I'm searching. This only we have to teach to our students. We are the face for our students, for our colleagues. Now you people are going to train your colleagues as well. You are going to tell them how to have effective searches, how to have, how to become a super searcher. Right? Okay. Now. You people have done these two tasks in the comment box. Was there any difference between the two searches? Yes or no? Be it lays one apart or be it your ship one apart? Yes. Yes or no? So Ms. Devan will help me out with a yes or no, whatever they are writing. Uh, yes, ma'am. Some of them are writing yes. Most of them are writing yes, okay. same to same. Some have written no. No. So there is no difference in the result. Means you just wrote Lays Jalebi and then you wrote Lays Jalebi real or fake. So there is no difference. Yes. Yeah, okay. again, there are lots of yes. Chip Great. one is AI powered, fake. Yes, yes. So most of them yeah, are right. writing yes. Right. So AI powered is snippets, whatever it is. So three dots. See what we have learned till now. We have learned till now that the word choice matters. Whatever words you are choosing, that matters a lot. So simple three pointers you need to keep in mind. Know your question. What is your question? Search at the right level of specificity. Now, this we, we are going to just explore it for our students, how we are going to have searches. These two examples were general, just to uh, have you people aligned with this program. Then reformulate often. What we did, we wrote Lace Jalebi. The uh, means the whatever you have seen on the result page that may be effective, that may not be effective. But when you wrote Lace Jalebi real or fake, you got the exact answer in front of your result page was showing the exact thing to you people. Okay. Only the thing is tune your searches. Nothing to do. We all are very, very proficient opening the Chrome and just type in whatever we are searching for. Only the thing is tune your searches. Now, how to do this? Recap, we have done four simple steps. Very easy. Very, very easy. Let us see. That is SIFT. We'll have the live example also for that. What is SIFT? Stop, investigate, find better coverage, 
and then trace the claims and etc. So I'll show you the example as well. So just remember these four steps now onwards. As I've told you these four steps, now everybody needs to keep in their mind, sift, stop, investigate, find better coverage and traces and claims. Okay, so let us just have a view of it. What I'm doing, I'm just searching one content related to my students. Photosynthesis, most common uh, topic, uh, everybody knows about it. I've just written photosynthesis. Okay, snippet is also there, much more content is there. Now, my question is again, I have written photosynthesis. Is it the complete phrase what should be seeked out or it is incomplete? Right. Yes, in the comment box. Complete this, this, whatever I have written, only the word photosynthesis. This is complete or incomplete? Yes, in the comment box, everyone. Yes, Ms. Divan, can you help me out? Yes, ma'am. So yeah. most of them are writing incomplete. Incomplete, in yes, incomplete. Okay. So all those who are writing incomplete, can you mention what should also be mentioned here? Photosynthesis, Kisan, what should be mentioned there? Anything? Yes, ma'am, they're still uh, writing. Incomplete process, define photosynthesis, class, definition, specific query, process Great. of photosynthesis, incomplete information, Great. stages. Right. So photosynthesis word, my student may be in class one, my student may be doing engineering, my student may be doing MBS, everybody knows photosynthesis. This word correlates to many grades, many age levels. So the first thing is to specify photosynthesis for whom? Maybe grade six maybe definition grade six then you're seeking for definitions or experiments or practicals whatever it is so now i've written photosynthesis grade six now what this is i have done the effective search now your work starts for sift the content is there in front of me my search engine result page is showing this content Stop, sift, stop. What is being it shown? Now here, investigate. You have to investigate as I can rely on by choose. By choose is a name, I may rely on it. So I'll just click on three dots. This is there in front of me. I can visit this window also. See, they have given very nicely what is Baijus and whatever. Find better coverage. Now, see, I have finalized that I have to pick up content from Baijus only. Now, P, trace the claims. You have to check out whatever is written on this website window. I'm not website window that you can explore later on. Whatever is written on this website window, whether whether it is effective or not, whether it is worthy or not, whether it is correct for your student or not, right? So what we did, we have opted for the SIFT method. I just wrote photosynthesis grade 6, stop, investigate. I just investigated multiple, some of the windows here and there, videos and most of the content. Then F, find the, find the better coverage. I just found that Baijus is working very well for me. And then trace the claims, any codes, anything, whatever you have to trace it. Because we are serving to our students, because we are serving to that sector which is making the future of our nation. So 
first of all we have to train ourselves now maybe you people might be having a question in your mind ki what this are we are we have to just do all these steps daily on and off and number of times we have to just explore the content no two three times you will do it it will become your habit and just mind my work words that it will give you great benefits so now any query related to sift to anyone anyone any query related to sift i'm open up then we'll proceed yes is there any query ms devan anybody I'm only one if you understand only one person has replied no So okay so if 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 you people are able to understand what is this super searcher program either give thumbs up or some some reaction what it is are you people getting this what is this super searcher now you yeah, are have, there on the mid of the super searcher and more thumbs up great yes so we have two thumbs up Okay, only two people are interested for that. Where are everyone? Yes, hands on. So I just give, I just need to give you hands on right now. So just find out the content right now related to your subject, related to your uh, whatever you people seeking for, and search for it. Now we have more thumbs up, and they're saying very nicely explained. Okay, great. Now Thank you. Now we have you. more and more thumbs up. Great. okay so keeping time in my mind because towards the end being an educator i do have my own use cases also so i'll share my three use cases with you people to just have effective work on the upper hand side so now let us go by i'm opening my new tab let us just search for any content by this lens everyone knows Google has given us a very beautiful tool that is Google Lens. It is making our work much much more easier. Let us see how to do this and how it is. So I'm uploading a file. Just pardon me. I have already downloaded one image with me to just save time. You people can use it as per your own requirements. So I'm uploading a file. So this is the same ship stranded on the shore. So it is still loading, right? Image has been uploaded. Some of the part of the image is selected already by default, and on the right hand side of uh, the window, you can see some images are popping up because we have uploaded image, so it is showing us the result for image only. What if I just extend my this selection part? as per my requirement my requirement was this i was to search this image remember when i showed you that question of image i told you that image is there in front of your screen you you have to search it i don't know how many of you have used this google lens feature to search about this image so now see i have just increased the selected area and it is refined sift what i did i just uploaded image i stopped there i investigated that the images which are popping up on the right hand side whether those are the images which i was seeking for then i extended the selection part what 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 was my uh, searches i want to do related to that and then find better coverage now see so many things are there in front of me so many images are there so i can't rely on india times so now i'm not going into this deeper side now everybody is much proficient that you have to click on it find better coverage ke baad you have to click on it and then trace the claims and quotes whatever is written into it whether those are effective or not so you people might be having any image if if you people are having because in the education world uh, we people do have some of the images here and there on our mobile phones or uh, computer system just try your hands right now 
just try your hands right now upload the image use google lens upload the image and just check out the searches the uh, result engine page whatever you are getting is it effective or not just use the method sift stop investigate find better coverage and trace claims claims or codes whatever is being given to you people i hope everybody has been indulged into this the some of you might be searching about nays jalebi some of you might be searching about this you can even search for any particular image take a screenshot and then also you can use this upload part from google lens so it is very very quick any image for your students you want you can just open it and just scan it and find out the content related to it whatever it is just do whatever i hope everybody is doing yes or no yes or no comments yes ma'am most of them are saying yes okay yes right so now is the time to have a recap very quickly and then we'll just go for my three use cases uh those use cases may be beneficial for you right now maybe in future but yes as i am in education world so i have my own use cases those use cases have benefited me a lot so what we did stopped i'm just giving you the glimpses if anybody is still doing it stop find better coverage what we have already explored right so ship stranded at sea shore in india just give the complete words you have to choose your words effectively scan the result page and then the sift method investigate the source similarly so we have completed our sift method right now and we are done so now as we are done we have found their traces everything now you are a super searcher we all were searchers now we all are super searchers so we should thanks google related to this that they have given us such a beautiful program to make our own world much more easier so now let me discuss just show it to you people my three use cases related okay so i'm just say for example go here so this is i search for photosynthesis grade 6 sift is done how many of you have explored this tools button given to us how many yes or no in the comment box yes or no anyone uh, yes um, some are saying yes and some are saying no rarely yes no no okay great the mixed response great very good so means i i got the privilege to explain now so tools if you click tools we have see uh, there is no harm to click on the whatever is being there on your screen unless and until you are sharing the content with somebody so you should explore whatever is being served to you on the window so what i did i just clicked on tools and one more pop up window one more pop up toolbar is there any time you can explore any time range or whatever all results now verbatim is given to us verbatim means as i i am searching for photosynthesis grade 6 after clicking on verbatim the the content that will be there on the screen the websites or the search engine result page whatever it will show that will totally be related to photosynthesis grade 6 
it will show you only the if you're going by definition so they will show the content where definition will be included only those websites links will be shown to you so one is this my first use case is this that verbatim you can click on tools button anytime or all results verbatim right how many of you knew about this verbatim this um, have you ever heard about that you can have searches like this as well yes or no how many of you had this ma'am it's again a mixed response some are saying yes some are saying no most of them are saying no no i have okay. no so now it is your task after this session after all your sessions just try to use it there is no harm to click on this verbatim word and then then explore what it is serving then what is my other one many a times we need only the images or pdfs so right now if i want to have any pdf i have to scroll up and down to search for pdf or just write it down here pdf so sometimes it will show pdf sometimes it may not show pdf so there is one more tab given to us advanced search this is my case study number 2 use cases number 2 advanced searches so now you see there is one new window the same one more window has been opened up lots and lots of stuff has been given to you explore it you can have the languages regions any time what type of file you want you can see there are the types given what whatever you want so this will give you the refined searches advanced searches whatever just just try to use it what will happen you two three times you will just try to use all the first of all it is not at all mandatory that you have to fill up all the fields here it's great just write down the name if you have exact exact word or phrase you can use that what type of file you want pdf or whatever just get it and then advanced searches will be there in front of you right how many of you have explored advanced searches yes or no advanced searches how many of you yes. have most of them are saying yes no. two three people are Great. saying no 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 some man it's okay. a mixed response again mixed so from now onwards everybody will be using this icon given to us and then we'll become super super searchers okay now my last use case if i'm searching for any image so i'll go by photosynthesis only and images so these are all images in front of us now again my query is how many of you have faced that you have copied the image from here but you are not able to paste it on your docs or lesson plan or slides or whatever anybody who has faced this that you have copied the doc this uh, image but while pasting the image in your document it was not pasted yes or no Again. yes paste yes i face most of the time yes 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 most of them are saying yes ma'am yes yes so okay so i'll just give you the key pointer you people have to explore it by yourself again now you can see tools when we had website searches then also tools was given when we have images then also tools is been given so click on the tools now you see this menu bar is being changed you can have size colors usage right type any time so we have to go for usage right two options are given to us creative commons licenses or commercial and other licenses so when the word is attached commercial so it may be pasted it may not be pasted you have to hit and try the content but creative commons licenses are free to use so just try it you have to try everything what all you have to try now you have now you are a super searcher i know you also know that you are a super searcher but 
just remember when we uh, explain our students anything what we assume that everybody all my students now know what is photosynthesis but we give homework so same i am also giving you the homework you have to explore it the first thing is sift stop investigate find better coverage and trace the claim supports whatever it's there in front of you then all these three use cases my own use cases they these may be beneficial for you these may not be beneficial but it depends upon your uh, criteria of searches whatever you are doing it so again my query is that anybody who is not able to understand sift method so i can repeat it once again anyone who is not able to understand sift Yes, Miss Devan. If anybody is having any query, uh, most of them are saying yes, 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 yes. Once more, okay. please understood. So most of them are saying yes. Okay, so I believe now you all are a super searcher. So now onwards, you people are going to use Sift method. You are trained now. Now train your colleagues. tell them how they can become super surger and don't forget to train your students they even some of the students even do know what what words they have to choose how to do the searches we have to train them once my students will be trained how to have effective searches how to become super surger then their life will be sorted so i think so uh, if anybody is having any query uh, kindly tell me i think so i am rightly on the time i have exceeded by little bit of time i'm sorry about that so any query to anyone yeah so i am just stop sharing my screen anyone any query okay so mr devan mr alok from my side yes ma'am uh, the session is over for super searcher i'm still there for 5 7 minutes if you have any query i'm open up for the query uh, ma'am one person wants to know how can we check true fact and how to check the genuineness of the post so this is only the sift method now you just use sift method right now you have learned it now you start using it automatically everything will be clear and concise in front of you so that's why we have brought this uh, super search program stop investigate find better coverage and trace the claims then only you will be able to understand what are the facts and what are not that okay so now someone has written can you unmute me i don't know you just write down your query in uh, okay somebody said explain t in this sift again see trace claims now some of the uh, websites may be giving the definite content that this happened on so and so date and so and so place so can i cross check it because today is ai world if you are hitting any website which is generated by ai so you have to cross check the content right um and one person wants to know where exactly should we use sift specifically Spec everywhere. If you are searching any content related to your personal use, everywhere, wherever you are, we are just getting our mobile phones and just opening it and just just start searching. Use the Swift method. Use. Be it if you are searching for any movie, use the Swift method. If you are searching for anything, use Swift method. For everything A to Z. use sift method you will be able to see the changes you will be able to see how effective searches you will have especially for your students 
Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, ma'am. Thank you for giving up, us this wonderful and very interesting session on super searches. We all enjoyed your session a lot. So thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you very much for giving me this privilege to just tell everyone how to become super searches. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, and thank you every one of you who have attended this session. And now you have to use SIFT method. Thank you very much.